everyone. So I am going to be setting up, well, unpacking the boxes, setting up and organizing my new kitchen. And I wanted to do it with y'all. And we're going to figure out where to put things and figure out just the lay of this kitchen and what's going to work best for me as I'm cooking, what's best for our family. I have already started putting things places. So we have like cups here. We've been in this house for a s several weeks now, but we had a lot going on and my brother got married and things like that. And so we needed to just do the bare, <laughs> we just needed to do the bare minimum um, so that we could live so we could have breakfast and snacks for the kids and things like that. So only a few things are unpacked and I don't even know if that's where I'm going to keep them permanently, but that's why some things are already in cupboards. So let me show you what I've got going on so far. I'll show you all of the boxes that we are working with and it's going to be fun. There's a lot more space in this kitchen than I had in my last kitchen and I'm really, really excited about that. My husband is out. <laughs> He's a uh cleaning up the grass that was around the generator and all of this was overgrown so he's got his high powered weed eater and he's got Oakley out there supervising so you're going to hear that in the background. These are all the boxes actually these are not all of the boxes there's even more in the garage that I will need to bring in. Hi Penelope! Um, and so we're just going to go through them together see what's in them and then try and find homes for everything. Like I said I already have Something's in here. This is the cup cupboard. We may end up rearranging and finding new homes for them if things just don't work out. But right now I have my coffee set up here, so it just is perfect to grab cups from there. And then in here we have kids um, stuff. And then we have bowls and plates over here. I just threw in some pots and pans down there. And then we have silverware over here kids silverware in this drawer and I think that's pretty much it. This is the space that we're working with. Lots of cabinets, all of these cabinets and drawers, There's some more on this side, there. Lots of drawers, lots of cabinet space, baby pouring cereal on the floor. What are you doing? Why, why are you doing that? Yeah. Whatever keeps you happy. This is actually a junk box. Set that aside. Down. And then, let's see. So I'm going to save this wrapping paper and I'm going to save the boxes. Um, a couple of them are too old to save. So this has just a few boxes, so few boxes, a few pots and pans, uh oh, don't touch that, and then a measuring cup, a glass one, those two do not go together, but find my organizers. I had a lot of cool organizers, risers for my cupboards and I don't know where they are so I'm gonna go find those because that's gonna be really helpful.
stuff. I haven't decided where the baking stuff is going to go yet, but lots of options. trifle dish that gets used like once every two years but you can't get rid of it because you never know when you'll need one. I think what I'm going to do is take everything out of boxes and put them on this table. I'll clean it first. I don't know if y'all can see this but we had lunch here. So I'm going to put it all out here so I see what I have because I'm afraid that if I start putting things places Afterwards, I'll realize that maybe I should have put something in a different spot. So when I see everything all at once, I think that might help me out. Don't mind the lunch leftovers in the background. But I have to go soon and I need to do something easy. Um, I'm getting overwhelmed really quickly with just the options and the decision making. And so I wanna do something easy right before I leave. Some of our drawers are in really good shape and then some of them are not in really good shape. So I have this paper, it's contact paper and I have been putting it in the spaces that need it. So I'm gonna put it in this drawer because I think this is gonna be our, uh, one of our cooking utensil drawers. So let's measure it first. looks like and I think it's really pretty it also just feels cleaner so I think this is gonna be a drawer for utensils Man, it's gonna be really tempting not to put liners on every single drawer because it's really pretty but I also don't want years down the road to change my mind about this or need to replace it and just be really sticky or damage the bottom I don't know if it does that or not but oh that's really pretty and now is it gonna bother me <laughs> if the rest don't have them Hmm. What do you think I should do? This is going to be a designated towel drawer for kitchen towels. And then this will be a dishcloth drawer. And I'm just really grateful to have drawers for those two things. I had them in baskets in my old house. So this is really, really nice having them right here by the sink. I think I'm going to make this my cooking utensil drawer, or at least one of them. And I have these things. They're drawer dividers, and I will link them for y'all. But they're really easy. You just slip them in. Oh, I don't know that these ones are gonna fit. I think my other drawers are deeper. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, these will fit. This one's broken. So you slide it in. So. Oh, that looks really pretty with that paper in there. So I'll have one in there, and then I'll have this one. Yeah. yeah, perfect. And I'll put things in here like tongs, and maybe tongs will go here, and then spatulas, whisks, spoons, things like that. This is a cabinet that used to have a uh, shelf right here, but the shelf has been taken out and we don't have it anymore. But this would be perfect for tall things like baking sheets and uh, cutting boards. So I have this organizer that I had in our old house and I'm gonna see if it fits in here. A smaller one though, so this should, there we go, that fits. Um, hmm. And I even have two of them. You want some cheese? 
No, no, I'm just getting this to Emmy. Okay. You can So maybe those together will work. Cutting boards here. Baking sheets. These are heavy, so they should probably go here. That one. This. There. I think that'll work for now. Okay. So it's kind of hard to see, but under here, I have started putting baking things, mixing bowls. Um, there's a trifle dish back there. Just more of the things that we don't use on an everyday basis are getting pushed to the back. The things we use every day will be more accessible in the front. So I have my 13 by nine, nine by nine mixing bowls, glass mixing bowls here, and then I'll fill in with the rest as I find baking things. <clears throat> Another thing I've been doing over here, this was really sticky. It had had a shelf liner in it and then I pulled it up and it was just gooey under here. So I used some Goo gone, and I also used this scraper tool that I got from Amazon. I'll link it for y'all. Um, but I used that to scrape all of the stickiness off. And now I think I'm going to use this cabinet over here for uh, food storage containers with lids. And I'll definitely have more room up here. I'm not sure what I'll put up there. But this is kind of like a awkward, tricky cabinet to get to. Um, so I'll have to put something we don't use every day up there. I think in this drawer, I'm going to put my, uh, doodads. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Little kitchen gadgets, I guess. Um, and then also some measuring spoons. I have these containers in my other one. I feel like I'm missing some, so I'm not going to start organizing until I find the rest of them. And then I just got out my Instant Pot just so I can see where it's going to fit because it is a bit of a taller appliance. Kind of thinking I'll put some appliances either under here. I also have storage here. And then I have this really big one here. I have a pet peeve where I like all my appliances to be really clean before they get put back away. And these are all dusty from being in the boxes and being kept in the garage for a week or so, so I'm gonna make sure that before I put everything away, I make sure it's all nice and wiped down and clean. Cause that just, it really bothers me. <laughs> when things are put back and they're dirty. Here we go. Please fit. That would be amazing. Oh, with ease. Perfect. Perfect. I'm sorry, the generator is going in the background. I hope you can even hear me. Uh, we had the rains and winds from the hurricane come through and it kicked off our power. It's been off since nine o'clock last night. And uh, thankfully we have a generator. So our generator is going right now. So that's what the loud noise is in the background. Okay, I have this box here that just as above the fridge stuff. So I have a general idea of what's in here. Um, interesting. But I also know I just threw a bunch of random things in boxes, so I'm just gonna get everything out so I can see what I have. Well, not out, but keep it in a more accessible place because before it was up above the refrigerator and I never saw it, and so we never used it. It is late, the kids are in bed. I have gotten so much done in the kitchen, 
but I've just been doing it in bits and pieces when I have like three minutes in my day. So I haven't had my camera out to show you as I was doing it just because it was too, it was too hard with kids everywhere and so much was going on. So, um, I will give you like a tour afterwards for sure. And just show you what I've done throughout the day. I am so excited, but right now what I'm doing is we have these two cabinets right here and we don't really have anything that we need to put in them and they're kind of awkwardly small. So, so what I thought would be cool, we do have a walk-in pantry, but it is quite a distance from our kitchen. And so we have a spice rack on the back of the pantry door where we're going to put a lot of our spices. We have a lot of them, but I thought our everyday spices, the ones we reach for every single day, or at least the most frequently, we could put them here right next to the stove. And then on this side, I have pulled this shelf out. It used to be down here and I'm going to raise it up so that we can fit our cooking oil bottle in here and a few other like taller things. And I'm really excited about that because I won't have to go to the pantry every time I need oil. It'll just be right here. Here we go. And then I'm also going to get some command hooks to put probably right here. You see that? Uh, for my pot holders just so I have them handy. And then up here on this top shelf, I think I'm gonna keep my baking ingredients. So like baking soda, baking powder, um, anything else baking related that I use quite often, I'll keep up here. I need to restock. I checked expiration dates and I realized that a lot of my like baking soda and baking powder was out of date. So I'm gonna have to replace those. I am the queen of not finishing my videos. And so as I was editing, I realized I didn't say goodbye to y'all. So I'm gonna close out this video here and I wanted to say be on the lookout because the next video I post will be a kitchen tour and I'll show where I ended up putting everything. It'll be a full walkthrough, you'll see it all. So make sure you are subscribed and put your notifications on um, so you don't miss that video. You can also follow me on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch um, and there I share just a little bit more behind the scenes stuff. I share some recipes and uh, I made butter yesterday and shared that on there. So I would love to hang out with you more over on Instagram. But for now, thanks for being here. I am so grateful for each and every one of you choosing to click on my videos and spend time with me. It means the absolute world. And I'm looking forward to many more hangouts on videos to come. All right. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.